play basketball next year and would like to play baseball too, but how much do you think that will affect your draft stock given that most teams would probably want to get you in right in for, you know, fall ball and, and Arizona and all that? Uh, I mean, from talking to teams, uh, it, uh, there are some teams that, that aren't willing to, to negotiate something like that. And, um, I mean, to be honest, that's fine. Uh, there's uh, there's many that that are willing to, and uh, I think those are the those are the ones that are most interested in me slash I'm most interested in. How do you how do you let that affect your draft order though? Do you have to like tell your agent, hey, don't let you know, say if the Yankees are one of those teams, to be like, hey, don't let them draft me, or how does that uh, process kind of roll? No, I mean, uh, uh, from a, an advisor standpoint, I think they're on the the same page as I am. Uh, uh, I relay how I feel and. Um, uh, you just kind of let the, the teams work it out from there and, and hope that it doesn't hurt your draft stock too much. But at the same time, um, if it does, you still got to have confidence in your ability to, to play, and to know that, well, if you're lucky enough to get drafted, it's going to give you all the opportunity that you need to make it to that next level. Are you worried about that affecting your draft stock a lot? No, not really, because uh, I think at the end of the day, um, Worst case scenario, or not even worst case scenario, but one scenario could be I, I come back and play both sports at the University of Notre Dame. I mean, um, it's it's been a great time doing it now, and um, it's been uh, a success. And uh, I mean, uh, I love the uh, the team on both sides and the coaches on both sides. So uh, if that happens, then I'll I'll attack it head on next year.